heat and extreme drought threatening the future of the saguaro. Earlier tonight, the ABC 15 Impact Earth team is showing you how climate change is driving the death of these massive cacti. Now we want to take you back to the Desert Botanical Garden where Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellen shows us one way scientists are working to protect the saguaro's future. Amber? Yeah, Faye, we are at the seed bank at the Desert Botanical Garden where they actually collect and harvest seeds, not only of saguaros, but of all kinds of desert plant species and especially the threatened and endangered ones. So joining me now is conservation biologist Steve Blackwell. He is one of the scientists here that is doing this important work. Steve, thank you for joining us and talk to us a little bit about uh, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis to, to really protect our environment here. Right, so one of the reasons why we created this lab is we wanted to understand how to grow our, grow our endangered plants. And one of the first steps to doing that is learning how to grow them from seed. And plants, you know, through, throughout history have developed these mechanisms for maintaining dormancy. And one of the things that we want to understand is how to break that dormancy, how to grow these seeds. And by doing that, you know, by having this lab here, we're able to test that and understand these plants better. And then if we can grow those seeds out and then we can use those for restoration projects or for further conservation um, here at the seed bank. Now, we also, in addition to learning how, you know, the seeds work, we also, uh, have a long-term storage project and that's what the seed banks the seed freezers are here and um, so what we do is we understand how long we can keep these seeds for so they could potentially be uh, kept in these freezers for decades centuries and maintain viability so they're kind of an insurance policy against extinction yeah if you know we happen to lose a species um, due to extinction we, well, we have their offspring here in our seed bank and then we can use those seeds for you know for to grow out and to put back out in the wild. So these are just st different stages of some of the plants that you're growing here. And you Absolutely. can see they start out so small. They do, and then a lot of people haven't seen uh, in, uh, juvenile cactus before. So, you know, we do our testing in here and you'll see we have some, uh, some baby uh, seedlings here and then they'll just pro progressively get bigger. And then here we have some saguaro seedlings oh, wow. that we don't, we don't get to see typically out yeah. in the wild. And then this one here is about two, three years old. So you can see it takes a long time for them to get to that stage. But the important part is that we have these seeds here in our seed bank for conservation in case something catastrophic could happen. Yeah, I, I like the way you put it, kind of an insurance policy as we see yeah. saguaros on the decline here, mainly due to things not cooling off at night with that heat island effect and of course the drought as well. It's, it's, it's really comforting to know that, that you guys are doing the important work here to ensure that, that we don't lose them altogether. It's only one part of the, the, the big picture of what we're doing here to conserve our plants. Yeah, it's really awesome. Well, if you missed it today, uh, we did a Facebook Live on the ABC 15 Facebook page. Steve was one of my guests, so if you want to check that out, we have a more in-depth conversation with Steve, and he was showing off some of the other endangered cacti that they have here at the garden, and uh, we talked in depth about the wildfire issue facing our saguaro populations and also uh, just what's happening with the urban heat island effect here in Phoenix that's causing these saguaros uh, to lose their viability, really. So if you want to check that out, it's on our ABC 15 Facebook page right now. And uh, for now, we will send it back to the studio. And Jorge's got to look at your forecast.